Imagine you're in a car. You're backing out of the parking space, but it's not you who's driving. The car is driving itself. And that's not the only thing. This car can also fly. <laughs> Professor Zhu was awarded a patent last year for his concept and is currently pursuing another patent for a detector to control lift during flight. It's been a long process. Zhu and his team have made steady progress since the first prototype was built in 2004. Zhu and his students have run hundreds of virtual tests on multiple models throughout the years, and the current prototype has been tested outdoors twice. Zhu said the problem with flying cars today is that they require extensive space for takeoff and landing. So this is very, from the very early on, our, our concept was a vertical takeoff, and then transition to full flight independent of a runway and airport. A seemingly simple endeavor that has proved difficult to pull off. This method of takeoff uses a lot of fuel. The equipment required for takeoff is heavy, which limits the number of passengers the flying car can hold. Additional funding is needed before a full-scale prototype can be built. Initially, Zhu thought he would be the first to test the car once a full-scale prototype is built, but after considering vertical takeoff sketchy pass, he said he might think twice. Zhu admits that there's a long road ahead to a practical, everyday flying car, but that road might someday be a thing of the past. <laughs>